files. As you know, I am Vijay Sukla, Chief Administrative Officer and Chemistry Teacher in YCS. So, today we start a new chapter, chapter number 1. The chapter name is <coughs> Basic Principles of Chemistry. Now, we come to the, our topics. Chemistry. <coughs> Uh, are you know about to the chemistry? What is the definition of chemistry? Now we discuss about to the chemistry and their definition. So, it can be defined as it is defined as chemistry is. the chemical composition structure and properties of matter. Okay, students, this is the perfect de definition of chemistry. Now, we start new topic of the chemistry. <coughs> what is matter? First of all, we discuss about to the matter. What is matter? Anything which we have seen to all nag dyes in this inverse that is called matters. Anything which we can see to our nagged eyes. in this universe example <coughs> chair desk bricks buildings ATC, each and everything. <coughs> uh, now, we discuss about to the states of matter, how many types of matter got? These are found types of types of matter, types of matter. Students, if we discuss about to the matters, matter are mainly found in three forms, three states. The states are so solid, liquid and gas. Matters are found mainly in three forms these are these are first solid second liquid <coughs> and last one is gas Okay, students. If we want to discuss about to the solids, then we can explain it as first solid. The definition of solid, we can define it as anything, 
anything or any substance which have which has definite mass and definite shape this is called solid second liquid anything <clears throat> anything which have definite mass which have definite mass but indefinite indefinite shape this is called liquid okay students it means if we have put uh, liquids in a container they have got the volume like that so we can say liquid have definite mass but indefinite shape okay students now we come to the next uh, topic next topic is gas and in gas anything or any material <coughs> which have which have both both indefinite shape and volume indefinite shape and volume that is called that is called gases okay students now we discuss about to the substance <clears throat> if we discuss about to the substance what is substance substance any things which have got in their pure form that is called substance atom and uh, molecules are the part of substance which is found in atomic or element form and it is pure form of substance okay students so <clears throat> we have discuss about to the chemistry matters states of matters and uh, different states of matter i have already explained 
and after that I explain about to the substance. Now, we discuss about to the <coughs> mixture. Now, we discuss about to the next topic mixture. mixture what is mixture anything which have uh, which uh, mixed with each other in indefinite ratio they have not mixed in a fixed ratio any substance any things which is mixed in mix without a fixed ratio that is called mixture. Any substance or things, things which is which is mixed in indefinite ratio. It means it is not it is not combined in a fixed ratio. This type of things is called mixture. Okay students, now we discuss about to the types of mixture or states of mixture. States of mixture. Students, do you know how more states of matter have got? How more types of matter have got? Only two types. These are these are found in two types. as first homogeneous and second one is heterogeneous heterogeneous <coughs> students <coughs> as you know if we discuss about to the first <coughs> point homogeneous homogeneous homo means all of you know homo means same or like it means <coughs> in this mixture if we have mixed two different type of things as if we mixed in water salt or sugar then it is completely mixed in liquid forms and we can't separate to each other it means these are uh, salt are completely dissolved in water or sugar is dissolved completely di dissolved in water and we can't see to our eyes in solid forms this is why we can say it we have got one type of uh, solution. This is called homogeneous mixture, but they have not mixed in a fixed ratio. <coughs> Anything <coughs> which is 
got after mixing in a single form single state <coughs> this is called this is called homo genus mixture homogeneous mixture example if we mix in water salt salt is completely completely dissolve <coughs> in water and it can't separate easily and both are found in a single form liquid okay students so this is called homogeneous mixture then how we can explain what is heterogeneous mixture <coughs> if we discuss about to the heterogeneous mixture then we can say it about to heterogeneous mixture what is heterogeneous mixture if two different type of materials things are um, dissolve in each other but these are either partially mixed in them but not completely mix it means they have uh, forms two separate layers this is called heterogeneous mixture it means we can explain it as if b have mixed <coughs> two different type of things to each other <coughs> it is not completely mixed in them <coughs> so these are called heterogeneous heterogeneous mixture if we take example of sand and water <coughs> sand and water if we dissolve in water sands <coughs> then it is not completely mixed in them it is look like partially mixed in them but when we disturb the water uh, when it is undisturbed uh, these are separated it means uh, sand is completely settled down at the bottom of the things or any container 
and water is separated from the sands. This is why we can say it. These are the heterogeneous mixture. Okay, students. Thanks.